New reaction tonight to explosive recordings that we first played on the news at 6. Allegedly at the center of the investigation, a key player in one of the LAPD's darkest moments. NBC4's Patrick Healy listened to the audio files and he joins us live from downtown LA. Patrick? Kathy and Chuck, the leak of the secret recording has ripped a scab off a sensitive LAPD chapter. Now, some community activists feel that in the recording, they hear insensitivity in one voice. What LAPD Internal Affairs is now investigating appeared on the Facebook page of a former LAPD officer turned department critic. I could have killed a whole truckload of them. <laughs> and would have been happily doing it. I wished I could have killed more of them. What does that mean? Retired LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey is among those who contend the voice is that of Frank Liga, a longtime LAPD narcotics detective. He was working undercover back in 1997 when he became involved in a confrontation with off-duty officer Kevin Gaines and shot and killed him. Liga contended Gaines had pointed a gun at him. The department exonerated Liga, but the city paid the Gaines family a quarter million dollar settlement. Mr. Liga's version of the facts was really inconsistent with many of the, of, of the facts that we discovered. Attorney Carl Douglas comes in for a slur on the recording. You know Carl Douglas is? Johnny Cochran's little Ewok uh, assistant. <laughs> 77th Station Captain Lillian Carranza was vulgarly disparaged as incompetent. This is a man who clearly has a problem with a lot of people. Journalist and community activist Jasmine Kanick received a copy of the leaked audio. I'm told it was made November 15th um, at Elysian Park. At the police academy during an in-service training session for officers. In the recording, the man warns officers to guard against being scapegoated as he contends he was. Detective Liga spoke to us by phone tonight, says he has not heard the recording, is not aware of an investigation, but if internal affairs is involved, he cannot talk about it. Now, this may come up at police commission in the morning. We will be back. Live at police headquarters downtown, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.